Hey what's up guys, this is another video in my series how to get an easy mob on Modern Warfare 3. This time we're playing the map Underground, and unlike the one on Dome, this is really campy. But um, as the title, it's how to get an easy mob, not how to get a really flashy, amazing mob. This this is quite cheap, um, I must admit. This, isn't, this doesn't reflect my gameplay or game style at all. This was simply made as a purpose to show you how to do it if you're struggling. You want to put the pod radar right here. Um, in front of me and that picks up five areas of traffic and two spawns the spawn to the left that you're just seeing right there and the spawn behind me in the tube um, which is really useful as you can see it um, the possible way that has such a wide such a big area of capturing people um, they can't really escape as soon as they come up the stairs in front of us and um, behind that wall as soon as they come through the tube and as soon as they come through the two doors um, above us they're pretty much gonna die um, if you're using Sitrep Pro as well, it just makes everything a lot easier um, because you can hear them. If they're going to be using Assassin Pro, you'll just be able to hear them because as long as you stay in this part of the tube, not showing yourself to the actual end of the tube, make sure you don't actually show yourself in this hallway because people have a tendency to come down the stairs at the bottom and kill you. Make sure you always stay behind the wall. You know, guys, keep yourself protected. Don't don't show yourself too much if you're trying to go for an easy mob. Um, but yeah, there's pretty much... You can't actually go... Like I said on Dome, you can never go really 5 or 10 seconds without someone popping up on the bottom of radar on this map. And as soon as they do, you know exactly where they're going to come from. It's not a surprise. It's all down to whether you can execute the kill and, you know, tackle it properly. It's not that difficult. As long as you see them first, you shouldn't have a problem getting the kill. As you can see, I'm using the MP7 Golden in this gameplay, which isn't normally the weapon I would use. Um, this was a, from a couple of prestiges ago, believe it or not. It was a gameplay I had in my vault. Um, which I completely forgot about. I was trying to get an easy mob on, on the ground yesterday and I thought to myself, wait, don't I already have one of these? So I checked on my vault, um, uh, vault sorry, on theatre mode and it just so happens I have one, which is pretty lucky. I think I was only fair prestige here. As you can, I was still using the dual FMG9s, which was the craze when the game first came out. <laughs> um, obviously, the MP9 Silent was a much better secondary to use, guys. Don't use the uh, dual FMG9s. They've been there for so much, they're now pretty useless. In my opinion, anyway, some of you guys might be able to beast with them still. But the MP9 silence is definitely the way to go for a second day. As you can see, I'm still just waiting here on my spawn. Um, that red dot to my left and right, they're going to be so easy to get kills. They just don't expect it. I mean, you, to be honest, the, you might play against some good people who are going to start clicking onto what you're doing. And they will start trying to rush you from different angles. And they might switch up to an Assassin Pro in their silence class. Um, just, be, just to try and combat the fact that you're using a portable radar. All I can do, guys, is uh, just say use Sitrep Pro to its maximum advantage. You really got to sound, or you got to listen out really well for those uh, feet, uh, for those footsteps. Sorry, you need. Um, as I said, Sitrep Pro comes in; it's priceless. I can't stress enough how 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 useful Sitrep Pro is. I say it every video, it increased my gameplay. It made me a better player. It's one of the single reasons I became um, so fluent in getting mobs in Modern Warfare 3 was because of the sound hoing. Um, and it's a really underrated aspect of Call of Duty, sit rep in general. Um, but yeah, as you can see, um, unfortunately you don't you don't actually get to see the mob go off and get the kills because the host rage quit and turned off his Xbox. And it was one of those host migrations where it doesn't just throw you back in the game. The whole game ends and you go back to the title screen, which was, which was kind of annoying because this was one of my first mobs. I think was this was my third mob. So obviously I was still um, curious to see whether you could get a title for 5 or 10 mobs, but it turns out I'm on like 30, 30 mobs now, there's no titles or anything for it, so really, I mean, if you get a mob, it's only just to say that you've done it, you know, it's something, it's like a personal achievement, there's not going to be any titles or emblems to show that you've got mobs, which in my opinion is a good thing, because people would obviously boost for the titles, and don't get me wrong, people still boost for mobs for some reason, which is really pointless, um, but every time they do, I give them a report, and I give them a, you know, a nice message telling them how sad they are but yeah um, coming up to the actual mob now I think um, I turn around sound hard this guy I think he was wearing assassin but I sound hard him as you can see and I pick up the 24 point streak guys um, that's how easy it is just stay in the area of the map control and patrol that area of the map just in front of the um, entry to the tube um, and you're looking out to four different areas of traffic real easy mob guys hope you guys enjoyed peace